everyone gets so angry about teabagging. Like, people make complete rage posts on Reddit and Bungie forums and things like that because someone teabags them, which I find pretty funny and, I don't know, I guess weird because I played Halo for most of my uh, kind of teenage years and when I first started playing online games, and everyone would teabag in Halo. It didn't always mean that they hated you or that you suck or anything like that. Sometimes you'd do it in just good fun. Someone made a big play on you, they'd throw you a teabag, and it was kind of like, oh, you should have had me, but I smoked you. It's more of a challenge to, to play better kind of thing to me, in my opinion. Like, if I'm playing 1v1s with Hovi and he throws down a teabag, it doesn't make me mad. It's not because he's being a dick. It's just kind of good fun, and it makes me feel more competitive. I want to now kill Hovi. The same thing can go for teabagging in normal Crucible. If you always view it as this really shady thing, then you're always going to have these negative feelings towards it. And in certain situations where they start teabagging you, you're going to get tilted. You're going to get mad, and you're going to probably play into their hands. A lot of players do it to put you on tilt, to make you mad so that you play worse. So if you do, start rushing them, trying to kill them. Or if you're playing Rumble, they're kind of camping in one area and teabag you, you're probably going to rush into them again and again and again, and they're going to keep on outplaying you. So, what you need to do is laugh it off and move on. I mean, with me, obviously I probably get more teabaggers than the average person just because I am a YouTuber and streamer. They see my name, they kill me, they say, Ah, saw it, and then they're going to, you know, they're going to throw down their nuts in my face. But if you find yourself getting... Uh, kind of teabagged in PvP, look what happened. Did they did they completely outplay you when they threw down a teabag? Most likely that guy is an old Halo player and he's doing it as, as a joke. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. If some dude is running around cleaning you up with a melee kill when you had no health and every single time he kills you he's teabagging you, he's most likely just a troll. He's not better than you. He's not doing it to say he's better than you. He's just a loser. Like this little Morditas guy that's in my game right now. He's a guy that teabags me every single time I play him. I've played him multiple times. I've actually blocked him because he sends hate mail towards me. But if that guy kills me, he will teabag me every single time. And I will beat him almost every single time. So it's obvious he's not better than me, but he's just trying to get under my skin. And obviously, the fact that I'm saying it in a video, it does work. So, I mean, not even myself is completely immune to it. If someone does it enough to you, you want to slay them. You want to prove to them that you're better than them. But it just makes me wonder why it went from kind of this funny challenge or trolly thing to, like, the biggest sin you can do. If you teabag in Destiny on stream, people lose their shit. When I was playing this game and this guy was teabagging me, there were people, like, sending death threats. Not to me. They are like, this fucking guy needs to die. What a loser. I hate him. And I was laughing because it's just, it's funny to me. I don't know where you guys stand. What are you guys' thoughts on teabagging? I find them hilarious, in my opinion. Like, if someone throws down a good teabag on me after they kill me and they really commit to it, I will laugh 99% of the time. If I'm playing against a stack team in Trials of Osiris and I'm trying to do carries, and then they beat us and they start teabagging, like, yeah, it, it, it's a little bit cocky and it might make me a little tilted, but most of the time, it's good fun. You guys need to realize that it's just a game. It's just a game. People shit talk in professional sports. People shit talk as boxers. It gets the blood flowing. It gets the rivalry going. And most likely, if there's people running around throwing a couple teabags in a game, you're going to have a more fun game because of it. Because that guy that teabagged you and you now killed, it feels that much more rewarding. It feels that much better to do it. So take advantage of it. If there's some little shit running around teabagging you, go stomp him. But... Don't play like an idiot. Don't push into him and continually die and continually get teabagged and, and start going on tilt because of it. You need to just treat it as a little bit of a game. The way I see it is if someone teabags you first, you have full reign to teabag them again. But you can't just do it willy-nilly. You have to slay him personally. You gotta be the guy that takes him out if you're gonna throw a counter teabag. There's kind of a rule set. If you get a greasy, amazing kill on someone, 
I think you're allowed to teabag technically. You have to say, I outplayed you, now what are you gonna do about it? If you're gonna treat it like that game, like that little bit of shit talk in PvP, you have to have a reason. You can't just do it without backing it up. And if you're gonna counterbag and you're gonna give it back to him, then you had better kill the guy. Because if you're running around getting carried in Trials of Osiris and you're teabagging when your teammates are getting all the kills, you just look like an idiot. You gotta follow the rules, man. If you're gonna drop the nuts, you gotta drop the kills. You gotta be the best. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's, it's just a silly little video, but honestly, lighten up, guys. Just chill out. It's a fun, bantery type thing. It is not an abusive, sinful display of disrespect. It's a teabag. It's a PvP first-person shooter. Get over it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys can share it with your friends so that they know the rules of the teabag. And I'll see you very soon. If you want to laugh, check out the video on the left and the right. That's it for me, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.